Today's video is the top 10 most successful crowdfunding campaigns. So crowd, crowdfunding, it's a, where you have a project or you have an idea that you want to make into reality and you go online to Indiegogo, Kickstarter, and there's a slew of other websites you can go to. And you can even create your own website to have people donate money and you put the money together and then you create something from that money. So, so you, you fund your project, essentially. So in 10th place, we have the movie Veronica Mars. It was from the TV show Veronica Mars. It's I like the TV show a lot. Um, they were looking for $2 million, and they ended up getting $5.7 million to create that movie. Um, they probably had other, other funding to go along with that, but that was from the, um, from the crowd fan, crowdfunding campaign. So in uh, ninth place, we have a video game called Elite Dangerous. It's a space simulator trading game. I've never played it. It sounds super interesting. They were looking for one and a quarter million dollars, and they raised three point eight six million dollars, uh, just over three point eight six. And in sorry eighth place, we have a Super PAC campaign. So a Super PAC is an independent expenditure only committee or committee, and what. Uh, a super PAC does. There are also other versions of PACs or whatever. There's super PAC and something higher and something lower. I don't remember. Anyways, uh, they help get candidates elected. So <clears throat> a candidate can only have so much money come in, but there can also be super PACs. And the super PAC can collect money to put towards an, a candidate's campaign. And it's usually run by someone who used to be on the candidate's campaign, which is kind of interesting. Um, it's not illegal. It's just uh, kind of... A loophole per se of how to get money, uh, how to raise money to have your um, election campaign, and um, yeah, su the super PAC um, they collected 6.1 million dollars plus. And next we have it's uh, technology for compressed audio files, but these are lossless audio files. So MP3 they compress the audio file and they lose some of their dynamic range. Um, FLAC is a lossless audio compression, and for their Pono music player, they were looking for $800,000 and they raised $6.225 million. Um, next, we have a real estate venture for a Glut Weiss, or for the Glut Weiss, Weissenhaus, Weissenhaus, I hope I, I, I butcher that. Um, it's near Hamburg. It's a luxury resort. They were looking for two million dollars, and they raised or two two million euros, and they raised over six million euros for that venture. And next we have the Ouya Android-based video game console. <coughs> um, they were looking for nine hundred fifty thousand dollars, and they raised eight point five nine six million dollars. And next we have the Peeble Watch. It's a smart watch. It's uh, for your smartphone, Android or iPhone. Um, they were looking for hundred thousand dollars. They raised. 10.266 million dollars for that project and in third place we have a product called the coolest cooler um, it's a I guess it's a pun on words um, they wanted the coolest cooler so it has a cutting board built in has a uh, ice cooler built in or something um, has a bunch of other things built into this cooler it's a Swiss army knife of coolers they were looking for fifty thousand dollars to to get this product out to consumers they ended up raising 13.2 million dollars and in second place we have protocol platform called ethereum um, it's um, it's to create a decentralized online transaction platform um, I'm not too sure what that means I did I, I tried reading about it and I was lost in all the jargon that they were using um, it's it's for transactions so creating websites uh, uh, getting your domain onto the internet to decentralize the internet so that you don't have to do it the traditional way of registering your domain and having to pay and all this kind of stuff um, from what I understand and it's it also incorporates um, like Bitcoin kind of things so there's there's a whole bunch of other digital coins and digital uh, monetary transaction things and yeah Ethereum is supposed to take that and decentralize it so that it's um, so that there's, I think, anonymity for the internet. Um, it's for Web 3.0, I believe. Anyways, they were looking for $18 million. And in first place, there was this video game, and it's called Star Citizen. It's an ongoing campaign. They initially were looking for 500000 to create this game. They've raised over $71 million. Um, that's incredible. Um, 
if you read the four hour work week, it's uh, by a fellow named Tiff Timothy Ferris. If you go to his website, he shows you how to break down and how to crack crowdfunding. So how to how to um, how to um, collect a hundred thousand emails in in a week. So then you can take those hundred thousand dollars or a hundred thousand emails, and you can put that towards marketing your crowd crowdfunding campaign, so that your crowdfunding crowdfunding campaign is is as successful as possible. This guy's a genius. He's he's hyper intelligent. Um, he can he just takes any idea that he has and he makes it succeed like tenfold of what you can even imagine. But anyways, um, this is today's video. Yesterday's video was the most popular Canadian female names. Um, tomorrow's video, I'm not sure what it is yet. You can check them out here and here and hit like, subscribe. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you guys tomorrow.